time to do yet another eBay break. We're going to go ahead and do 2018 Donner's Baseball four box break number four, eBay style. Here we go. Yeah, Florida State had a chance to come back there, but you know, they 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 made a couple mistakes. They stopped the tactic. All right, eBay messages should be taken care of there it has not been a good day as far as that's concerned alrighty as always good luck everybody there's that okay Daisy how the hell are you I see you got breakers all to yourself I hope all is well Jason will be uh, going live tomorrow and on uh, on Monday, so there's that. Let's see if we can uh, get the mojo rolling on this. Kings, Knicks, Magic, Mavericks, the Nets, Nuggets, Pelicans, the Pistons, Sixers, Suns, and the T Wolves. Boom! So there we go. I wish I could. I wish I could uh, strike a match to this Donruss, but you know, some people out there want it. Uh, but I do have a filler here for Spectra Basketball 1617. I got 14 teams left. Eighty-five dollars gets you a random team, and if your team goes hitless, I'll throw you in a randomizer along with all the other hitless spots, where you have a chance to win up to two hundred dollars in break credit tonight only, because. Currently, it has a $100 break credit uh, giveaway. I'll double that if we can fill it tonight. Tonight only. Let's go. this uh, done as painlessly as possible. Mm -hmm. After this break is done, 
all auctions will be done and I will send combined invoices. What did I say? Breaker addiction? I have my moments. I mean, I do have my moments. Oh, damn. Hold on. Let me grab this top loader thing real quick. Be right back. Rock Karoo to 353 California IA Let's get through this thing here Got a random this two teams Luis Severino to 199 Yankees There's no more college basketball so no point in uh Keeping that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always combine uh, invoices at the end of the night because it just it makes my life easier to just do everything at once. And I'm all about making my life easier. It, it's kind of a kind of a thing of mine. Let's uh, continue here. Can we get that Spectra basketball filled tonight, folks? I'll give away $200 break credit if we can fill that tonight. Tonight only. Tyler Holton to 999 American Pride. Ah, break addiction. I appreciate that, my dude. Hopefully, we can get you something extremely nice one of these days to help you. Uh, you know, stay with the addiction, you know? Hopefully I've hit something really nice for you already. I, I hope that is the case. But I do appreciate your uh, continued uh, love and affection. 289, Willie Calhoun, Rangers. The Nationals, Pedro Severino. That was yours? Well, there you go. Right, so I have done my, my deed. Stanton Marlins to 999. You got a Watson book too? Niceness. All right, cool. So I have I have done you well. Uh, well, I'm Uncle Jesse, so I guess you would be my nephew. My nephew. Jonathan Gray, Rockies Patch. Greatness to come. Greatness to come. To 249, Chris Bryant. Cubs. Tell your friends, Breaker Addiction. Get them up in here. That way we can get ripping eight ace AP. Carlton Fisk to 99 for the Red Sox. On card auto right there. Very nice. Not on card. That's a sticker, fool. Sorry, guys. Got to random that. 
I think I'm gonna go to I think I'm gonna go to Walmart later and just buy a bunch of hot pockets. Cause I I, I kind of want pizza, but I don't want to like fully commit to the pizza. You know what I mean? To 149 claim Kershaw Dodgers, like a calzone would be nice. Uh, people look for in this the autographs and uh, Otani's. The Otani's are pretty hot. There's there's some variations in here too. There's sepia variations, black and white variations. There's some short prints. There's a sepia right there, right there. Yeah, I like. I mean, listen, this is this is pretty decent right here. That's a that's pretty hot, pretty nice. Nice looking card. I think this would not be as, you know, I'm going to be just, just being quite honest. Putting myself in your shoes, I can only imagine that this is boring as hell. Given the amount of base cards. And that I spend the majority of my time just opening packs. I can't imagine that's fun to watch. Uh, but there are good. There's there is good stuff in here. There is good stuff. Uh, how much later? Well, I think it's gonna be on time, uh, unless we feel like a store break or anything. I, I don't really see the schedule getting, you know, thrown off here. Uh, the Gypsy Queen is scheduled for one in the morning. Uh, I have a Pantheon football break coming up at midnight. That that doesn't take long, at all. Maybe like 10, 10 15 minutes tops to do Pantheon football. So, uh, I, I don't think Gypsy Queen is going to start any later than 1 in the morning. Eastern time. Uh, right now, it's 11.30, my time. So, in an hour and a half, I will be ripping that Gypsy Queen. That stuff is super nice. Chris, I hope all is well, my man. Which break are you looking forward to, uh, Breaker Edition? Jason makes you laugh breaking this stuff. It's not fun. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But there's nice stuff in here. I mean, don't get me wrong. There is nice stuff in here. It's just, uh, for lack of a better word, it's a bitch. Yeah, I, I mean, that's just, that's just my, that's who he is. That's. That's the cardboard Jesus. He, he he is not a fan of this, and neither am I. Only difference is, I am younger, uh, and I don't know any better. Whereas Jason has been breaking, you know, cardboard for years. I've been doing this for one year, so. I still, I, I bitch and moan too. I bitch and moan. No problem, Chris. Yeah, it's, it's an, an, basically, it's an hour and a half. Regardless of the time difference. Well, let's see, it's, it's 10 p.m. West Coast time, so wait, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I, I misunderstood. Yeah, it would be 10 p.m. West Coast time, because it's three hours behind over there. So 1 a.m. would be 10 p.m. West Coast time. I, I misunderstood. I misread that, I should say, which I do a lot. Anyway, see what we got here. But basically in an hour and a half. Uh, Connor Pilkington to 999 American Pride. Got a random that. We did not uh, sell a spot for that. Thank God that this break is now four boxes as opposed to a half caser. You know, sorters take... Six hours to get that thing uh, sorted. Because you guys very well known, uh, Donruss Baseball does not have the licensing. Therefore, it does not have the logos, uh, just the uh, the city name. And some cities have more than one team. So the girls have to go in and check those teams like this one, New York. They're like, I know it's a Yankee. But they don't. They got to go through the checklist and go through every single one of those. It's it's a pain in the dick. Clint Frazier, Yankees autograph. It takes like six hours to sort a half caser. And I'm not even exaggerating. 
Ozzy Smith Cardinals to 199. Got a sleeve all the rookies and inserts and variations and sharp. It's just it's a lot. It's a lot. So I understand why Jason, you know, cries about this stuff. It's it's uh it is a bitch. The Pantheon box is scheduled for midnight, which is roughly in a half hour. So about 30 minutes from now, extreme uh, hobbying, which by the way, uh, we do have break times uh, in our listings, so be sure to read the descriptions, y'all. Robbie Alomar, Indians, that right there. You could sort Heritage in an hour. How, what, how, what, how, what, like a half caser, a full caser, like a box, what, what's the deal? So 349, John Carlos Stanton. That goes to the Yankees. Breaker addiction, can you or anybody, can somebody tell Extreme Hobbying that it's gonna be in about half an hour? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna take me 30 minutes to get done. I go through it fairly, fairly efficiently. Corey Kluber to 999 Indians. You do a half caser of heritage sorted in an hour? Eh, that's not too bad, given the fact that uh, you're just sorting it. That doesn't include sleeving any anything. That and, you know, the logos are on there, so it's pretty easy. Jacob DeGrom of the Mets with the camo. Uh, relic there. I, I, I'm not saying you can't, Ra Ra. Now do that twice a day. Five times a week, and that's just you know that's just heritage. Throwing a little Donruss in there, throwing uh you know all the other lovely stuff we have, and uh, you might lose your mind. Ryan Braun to 199 Brewers. So I appreciate people that are super patient with the with the shipping of this stuff because it takes it takes time to sort. It does take time to sort. 299 Tiosker Hernandez Blue Jays. A zero error rate. Okay, Julie. To 999, Charlie Blackman of the Rockies. Got a little bit of a ding down there. That sucks. Breaker Addiction, I appreciate you for that, man. Thank you. It's worth it's worth something to somebody, Rara. You taught me that. It's whatever someone's willing to pay for it. Worthless to you, but someone else, you know, is down to get down like a clam. I mean, why not breaker addiction? The way I see it, we're one big old happy breaking family. As long as you don't like advertise other breaking operations, I don't mind if you put your eBay links at all that way you can sell that stuff and get into more of my breaks you know what I'm saying master plan master plan want to see what these messages are looking like none right now Right, Ra Ra, that's why I'm trying to get rid of my stuff ASAP. Like now, like I've gotten to that I've gotten to the point where I'm fairly confident that like if it's a if it's a new release, it's a new product, and it's good stuff, I could get rid of it within a day or two. And I've honestly I've I've gotten pretty good at that. I've filling breaks two, three cases a day, no problem if it's new stuff. Um the issue is I just I can't I'm not getting enough allocations of that good stuff so in order to get to the good stuff I gotta get rid of this stuff you know what I'm saying
you know, I, I one day will get to the point where, you know, I got 20 cases of NT and I, I, I go through more than half in a day. That is that is the the goal, of course. And with the help of eBay, we'll definitely get there. Exactly, Rara. Exactly. Well, listen, uh, Rara, this is the part of the game called paying your dues. And that's what I'm doing. So, gotta, gotta take it on the chin for now. Alright, let's see what we got here. The 99 Lindor Indians. Gotta pay my dues, man. Gotta pay my dues. If you know, if I if I had the the customers and the room count that he has, I would be getting 30 cases of NT as well, man. You know, we'll, and we'll ship the Donruss to the Jaspies <laughs> or some or something. The blank back Kirby Puckett. I think that's a Padre. I'm not sure. That's what the checklist is for, though. With the blank back. Short print right there. Got a random this. Arenado. It's a 349 Rockies. If we can, sp if we can feel that Spectra break I have in the store tonight, guys, I'm going to give away $200 in break credit. So let's fill that thing up. Let's fill that thing up. Tonight only am I going to give away those $200 break credit, folks. Got a lot of new releases coming out. To 99 Bryce Harper Nationals. Where do I see the sports cards market in 20 years? That's a good question, man. Considering that I've, I'm, I'm fairly new to this, uh, to the world of breaking, another Carlton Fisk. This one, 1 out of 10. eBay 101 right there for the Red Sox. Very nice. Um, I, I do see physical cards still being a thing, Breaker Addiction. I don't think digital card, digitals, that's, that's, for, that's for children. Uh, memorabilia, honestly, as long as there's still sports, and as long as sports still makes stupid amounts of money, this hobby's going nowhere. I think if anything, in 20 years, people my age and, and uh, you know the generations after me are gonna you know because I'll tell you right now, kids my you know people my age that are 28 year olds and, and under don't know about this stuff. Case breaking to me, I didn't know about it until a, a couple years ago. You know what I mean? So I, I think this is still a fairly recent uh, deal. So I, I do think the hobby is going to get, you know, just better and better as time goes on. Uh, of course, that depends on, you know, players and whatnot. But I don't think the sports cars market is going to falter anytime sooner or, or go away. Rizzo of the Cubs, gold to 99 there. I don't I don't think so, Ra Ra. I, I honestly, I don't think so. I'm telling you, man, once people my age and younger start to realize that this stuff is money, it's not going to go anywhere. Jake Thompson, Phillies, dual relic. This is, this is a, a multi-billion uh, dollar industry. It's not going to disappear overnight. 289 Bryce Harper Nationals. See, there you go, Chase. You're you're new to breaking, you know, you're, and you're 30 years old. You're only two years older than me, or whatever. And you know, this is exactly this. This is a new concept to to most people. Steel Walker to 999 American Pride. You know, once people start to realize that you don't have to go to Target or Walmart or whatever 
and buy packs and packs and packs and packs and packs for that one player you're looking for. You know, I, 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 you know, I think if anything, this thing is just getting started. That's why we see more and more breakers every single day because they see the potential in this stuff. You know what I mean? Well, rah rah. That's that's the that's the that's the thing about the internet. The internet is probably gonna kill the card shop. I mean, you know, small towns are still gonna have their card shops. That I don't think that you know, hobby shops. I don't think are gonna go anywhere. Uh, but like selling individual packs and things like that, I think case breaking has yet to be like. I don't think case breaking has blown up yet, honestly. I, I really don't. But I'm going to change that. I'll tell you what. You know, I, I've heard stories of people going to conventions back in the 90s and the 80s where it would be a convention just full of tables with cards and memorabilia all laid out. And, you know, that's that's how people did their thing. I think exactly, Chase. That's what. What's up, Kanko Main? You thought you were just gonna be sneaky and I wasn't gonna notice you, dog? No, bra bra. I'm complete. I'm. Com I completely agree. But you know, when people realize that I'm gonna instead of spending X amount of dollars on packs or whatever, if I could just you know save up a little bit more and get in a full case break for the one team that I want, this shit's gonna take off. And honestly, it's, yeah, man, this, I, I see the potential. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this shit, just, just being honest. I'm a fairly smart dude, you know, if I didn't see the potential in this stuff, I would be doing something else, you know what I mean? I would go get another job. And, and do something else with my life. But I, I believe in this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Talking to you fools. Tell them again, Corey. Because they don't even know, dog. Pack at a time in the night is exactly, Dave. Now you can get a whole case ripped up. I mean, you could have done that back then too, but uh, I I mean, trust me, Dave. I, I I used to collect comic book cards. I used to collect, you know, I, I was I was not into sports cards, but I was big into like comic book cards, and even that stuff sells pretty decent. Uh, on eBay, but but yeah, let's finish this thing up here. I appreciate that, Chase. I'll let my sorters know. No, we we did not we did not bust open that TriStar yet, Kanko Main. Uh, but if you check our store, it's it's looking pretty empty right now. I have uh, pretty much the only case break I have in the store is Spectra Basketball. Uh, I also this is Bryce Tucker to nine 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 USA. Uh, the TriStar still in there. The uh, the collegiate uh, flawless stuff is still in there. Basketball and football. Uh, I mean immaculate. I think it's immaculate. Um, I have the heritage and Donruss personal boxes. I got random team full case breaks of that as well. Yeah, I had it down to seven spots. It's at fifteen now. Uh, someone in that break had eight spots. Uh, and decided to transfer those spots over into another break. I filled NT and the flawless baseball last night. So there you go. 209 Drew Pomeranz, Red Sox. You collected Star Trek cards? That dude, those are actually those are that's moolah right there, man. Those nerds will pay uh, a pretty penny for uh, 
for a Spock autograph or something. R.I.P. to my boy Spock. Mike Trout to 999 for the Ingles. Yeah, I used to collect comic book cards, so I'm pretty nerdy myself. 1099, Miguel and Duhar, Yankees. Or Mets, I'm not sure. I think it's a Yankee, though. That's why we have a checklist. Groupbreakchecklist.com, to be example. The official checklist destination for Rip City Cards. Shameless plug right there. All right. To 349, Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. Oh, dude, you had toys growing up? Must be nice. I did it. Sob story. To 199, Chris Bryant. I know he's a cub. Nah, I, seriously, I, I didn't have toys growing up. I had a Bible in Spanish that I used to read. And I had a dictionary that I used to read. And I would actually go outside to play. Th those were my toys. Francis Martez of the Astros with a patch. And then as I got older, I discovered I had a toy all along. And then I started playing with that. You know what I'm talking about. Chris Flexen to 500 for the Mets, I think. What does JSY stand for, Rara? You know I'm stupid. Alberto Mejia of the Rockies with the patch. Oh, Jersey. Got it. I'll tell you what, though, Ra Ra. Uh, as soon as it starts to affect, you know, the companies in their pockets, that's when they're going to notice, like, oh, shit, maybe we shouldn't have these many autos or relics. Let's, uh, let's make those things a little bit more exclusive and... Tone down the the saturation. It's you know you know what they say. It's all supply and demand. Joey Gallo to ninety nine Rangers. I call them napkins because that's exactly what they are. There ain't no damn pass a napkin. To one ninety nine Nolan Ryan gold for the Yan I think that's the Yankees. Yeah, you know call call them relics, call them napkins, call them patches, call them whatever whatever you want. Memorabilia, whatever. They're napkins to me. At least if it's like one color, it's a napkin. All right, so that's it for the break. See, that wasn't too bad. Got us through that fairly uh, painless. We had four autos in this thing. Uh, we got to random these cards, though. All right, so if I get an odd number or an even number if i get an odd number it goes to the top team even number bottom team so here we go sorry toy soldier well maybe you got some uh some some base coming your way so look out for that even number two goes to the bottom team so i think sandberg is a cub so cub royals orioles cardinals orioles cardinals orioles boom it's, it's, well, technically, Ra Ra, it is player worn. Technically, it is player worn. Two teams, bottom team on the back. Make sure you check the back, people. All right, and now I have a card with three teams on it. For this one, I'm going to do a different die. If I get the number one or two, it goes to the Astros. Three or four, goes to Cardinals. Five and six, goes to Indians. Here we go. Six. So it goes to the Indians. The Puerto Rico Finest inserts. And last but not least, we need to random this stuff right here. American Pride cards. For this, I need to pull up the randomizer. Uh, luckily, I already got it up. Uh, I though I do need to copy and paste my teams. 
Well, Toy Soldier, if uh, if I can fill that Spectra basketball break I have in the store, I'm going to give away $200 in break credit tonight only. Uh, I agree a million percent, Ra Ra. Trust me, when I, when I get big time, I'm going to talk to the big wigs over at Tops and all that other stuff, and uh, I'll get that taken care of. Uncle Jesse will take care of that. Just just build your boy up. I'm going to be like the first celebrity breaker, calling it. Uh, I rolled the number six, so I'm going to go six times in the randomizer. Top team gets the American Pride cards. Good luck. And the money shot six. Going to the Mets are the American Pride cards. All right. Uh, recap time. Of course, I'm only going to recap the autos because that's all we care about. So we have Miguel Duhar, New York, Carlton Fisk. Not once, but twice. One blue, one gold for the Red Sox. That's pretty sick. And Clint Frazier. So I believe two Yankees and two Red Sox? I'm not sure Andujar is a Yankee, but I, I think he is based on the colors. There you go, Red Sox and Yankees doing the damn thing. And that was the break, everybody. 2018 Donruss Baseball, four-box break, number four, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out.